Hello, and welcome to what I hope is the most boring video that you have to sit through in our flipped class unit. Um, for the next seven weeks, our class will be working on a self-paced unit on argument and persuasion. This unit is a flipped class unit, which means that all of the resources uh, for the, the material for this unit are available online, and very little of our class time is going to be taken by me instructing you. Instead, videos like this one and web resources will be provided for you to get the instruction that you need in or out of class and to work through the assignments at the pace that's right for you. There are certain minimum compulsory activities that must be assessed by the end of the seven week period. And there are many expansion activities for those of you who finish the compulsory activities. During class time, we will frequently meet in the computer lab, but in addition, you will be allowed to use your personal electronic devices in class, and I will bring mine as well if you need to borrow one. The idea of a flipped classroom is that any student who needs more time to understand some ideas will have video recordings of the lecture to review as often as needed to get the ideas in the privacy of home and with control over the time, the volume button, the fast forward and the rewind, um, meanwhile, someone else who felt more comfortable with the content to start with or who just found the topic really, really fascinating can get ahead and work, at the uh, work to a level that includes more difficult tasks, collaborative tasks, creative tasks, and more difficult readings. So when you have questions about the assignments, I will always be available in class time to help you to understand them. At the end of the unit, you will take a survey on this process to give your input on how all of this works and how it can be improved. So, let's move on to the objectives of the unit. This unit is called Argument and Persuasion, but Argument and Persuasion has two sides in terms of stakeholders and two sides in terms of context, so it's going to have a lot of different component parts. Basically, Argument and Persuasion have to be looked at from the perspective of the person trying to persuade and from the perspective of the person who's being persuaded. Um, it also has to be looked at in terms of context. There are methods that can help you to persuade your mom to let you stay out until midnight <clears throat> that would not be appropriate to use in an academic paper. I'm going to refer to those divisions as academic, which I'll describe with words like fair, reasoned, logical, and evidence-based on the one hand, and on the other hand, marketing which will be described with words like biased, uh, emotional, fallacious, conventional wisdom, not strictly logical, um, uh, and also a keyword, propaganda. In this unit, you will learn what bias, propaganda, logical fallacy, and conventional wisdom are, as well as how to detect unreliable or biased sources of information and how to instead create fair, academic, evidence-based arguments. I want you to note at this point that I am not using the words good and bad. Logical arguments can be produced to support bad ideas, and propaganda techniques can be deployed to support good ones. If you can manage to use a logical fallacy to convince the U.S. Congress to do something about climate change, I will applaud you. However, ideas that may have serious ignored downsides are much easier to support using fallacious or biased argument than using reasoned, evidence-based arguments. So, you, you can't use propaganda yourself in an essay for my class, but you might want to use it if you go into marketing or politics. <clears throat> so, our objectives are to learn to name and identify particular types of propaganda and logical fallacy in order to arm ourselves against unfair persuasion in our reading. Um, and to learn to distinguish between reliable and unreliable sources, not only so we can, achieve, uh, we can choose appropriate ones for our writing, but also so that we can see the red flags that should signal us that information may not be correct or fair. In the age of social media, this has emerged as a particularly important topic and one that we are just now beginning to understand the impact of. We will also learn to structure a persuasive essay and use and cite the evidence that supports it. <clears throat> Your key assessments in this unit are a test on propaganda and logical fallacy and the steps you should take when you encounter it in, uh, and the second um, key task, a persuasive essay. 
when these things when these things are due is partly your choice. But there's a soft deadline in six weeks and a hard deadline in seven. In the meantime, there are readings, quizzes, and tasks to help you prepare for the assignments. If you finish early, there are many other individual and collaborative assignments uh, to further your learning through creative production and or further reading and also to improve your grades. Thank you.